You thought Super Hot VR was fun? I refuse to play it. It might be fun, but I refuse to play it. Why no Super Hot? Because it requires you to shoot yourself in the head to start the game, and that's repulsive, and the game also didn't earn it. Maybe they patched that out, but that's how it was when I tried to play it on Vive. They removed that. Oh, they did. Maybe I would play it then. What was the lore behind having to shoot yourself in the head? There was none. There was none whatsoever. It's just to start the game, you shoot yourself in the head. They thought that was cool. They got review bombed after removing it. Well, still good for them for doing that. Seems a bit thin-skinned to be bothered by that. If you think that, you don't understand human psychology. I am a professional game designer. I have done game design my entire professional life. What I do is I create subjective experiences for people. I think about this all the time. I dream about it at night for fucking decades. And I'm telling you it's a bad thing to do. Why is it so bad? I'm not going to explain. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to bother. It's not my job to explain these things. Doesn't that take us back to video games, violent video games? No, because here's, okay, look, here's the difference. No, I'm not even going to, it's just going to turn into an argument. There's a difference, okay? There's a difference. I'm just not going to argue about this tonight. I'm not in the mood. The, the, the VR nausea has made me more cranky. And if I'm going to have an argument about this, uh, I just want it to be when I'm not a hundred percent grumpy. I'm just, I'll, I'll just, the more embodied something is here. Here's the thing. A lot of people in the West think about everything is abstract and your brain has ideas and the ideas are not reality and it's all in your brain, right? It's a lot of those things are not as true as people think. So the more embodied something is, the more real it is. Okay. So when you bring motion into something, it affects you differently than if you don't, right? So if you're playing a first person shooter, you're just moving your hand a little bit. You're just moving your WAS the other hand a little bit, right? When you're actually mimicking motions with your body, it is much more real to, to dark recesses of your mind that you normally don't even think about. Like the vast majority of your mental activity is like the depths of the ocean where you have no access to it. And these things are actually really important in, in how your life turns out. Life itself is a meat grinder, and there's something to be said for confronting that and integrating it into our psyche. I, I don't disagree with you there. Like, I am definitely not. I am not a person who says protect everybody from all adversity, because that makes weak people. I don't want to make weak people. Okay? But great care should be taken in the way these things are done. And... Telling everybody to shoot themselves in the head to do anything uncontextualized is not taking great care with these issues, right? That's all. I'm, I'm absolutely not saying don't put people through negative experiences. Negative experiences are valuable, but wisdom is required and important, especially when things are, are at scale of having many, many, many players. Yeah, it's absolutely not a knee-jerk reaction. I'm not one of these video game violence is bad people. I'm not one of these violence is bad people. Like, in fact, we should... Like, <laughs> one thing, again, that people in Western societies don't understand is that violence is a normal part of nature. Look at fucking animals in nature, <laughs> okay? So... That's something we've become very detached from as a society as well. So I'm not, 
I'm not one of these like, oh, keep us away from violence, people. Not at all. However, self-destructive, it is not good for an organism to engage in self-destructive patterns, whether that's an individual person or an entire society. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>